So about 16 or 17 years ago, I worked for a guy who did parking lot striping for the Oakland airports and like parking garages and for the shuttles and stuff. And it was usually a night gig and if you signed up to go, you made a little more money per hour so of course you know your boy was going. It was actually fun and myself, I didn't do much of the actual striping, now I was basically in charge of snapping lines, layout, painting curbs and parking block. And a few weeks back, me and my partner Kenny friend of mine who have been painting with for just about ever, we were kind of reminiscing about how we used to do that and how satisfying it was and how much money was being tossed around during that time. And we figured that we could approach the guy who hired our old boss and see if he'd be willing to give us a shot. See, the thing is, he lives locally and I see him driving around from time to time, but it's been 17 years since we did a parking lot striping job. So I thought maybe we should try to get a couple under our belt before we approach him. Now, the universe, it works in crazy rays, right? Because we had just started talking about this. And I, I took on a super small, okay, so let me back up. So I took on a super small project to keep one of my guys busy. Now, I normally would have passed on such a small job, but it was local, it was for a church, and they were in a time crunch and they really needed somebody. So I was like, hey, I got a guy who would normally have a day off, so I sent him over there to do the job. So once he completed the job, me and the pastor got to talking and they were saying how they were in a pinch because of some recent construction that they can't get signed off, they can't get the permit signed off until the parking lot is ADA compliant. And I was so surprised because it hadn't been a, more than a week since we started thinking about doing a striping job, like how can we get a striping job? And then one just like fell in my lap. It's almost like I manifested it. And I hate saying stuff like that, but it really seems like that's what happened. So first step of the plan is complete, get the job, right? Step two, get the footage before and after pics. That way I can run some ads. And then step three, run some ads. Now I'm gonna try to get one more job and then we're gonna approach Mr. Parking Lot Man. I learned a lot on this job about the ADA requirements. Also, we had to rent some equipment and some stencils and stuff, which went really smoothly, but now I got an idea of what it's gonna cost, what the rental fees are, because going into this, I, I didn't really do a whole lot of research on that part. Actually, it had somebody I thought that I could just borrow this, the striper from, but it wasn't working and we were unable to do that. So we priced this out for about 2,300 bucks, just under 2,300 bucks, the original price. But after some change orders and some additions, we ended up hitting $2,800 on the final ticket. Now I spent 750 on materials, labor and rentals, but it only took 10 hours to complete. Now my pricing I think was probably a little low on this one, so I'll keep adjusting the pricing more on the next one to see if, um, you know, if we're, if we're too high or whatever. I, I'd rather them tell me I'm high and have to come down a little bit, especially for this because I don't really have the prices dialed in and the prices I was used to like I said were about 16 or 17 years ago so we ran into some issues with the tip on the rent that the rental place gave us for the machine it never really worked right the fan was kind of wonky and wobbly and it was also very windy so it was having trouble putting on nice straight even lines like it would not have a straight edge the edges were kind of wobbly so we switched over to a newer tip and it worked but we just had to push the machine a little slower to get the right the right mill the right thickness on the line so we made a couple little mistakes but the cool thing is you just block off your mistakes with black paint and try it again which is why i think this is a good service to add to my arsenal because i can train just about anyone to do this and the margin for error is super small because it's easily fixed now i'll do another detailed video of this job if you want just get this video 200 likes and i'll make a detailed follow-up video about this job like i'll walk through everything that we did and, and how it all went down this is crazy how the universe works you know what i mean so hey if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you want to leave me a comment in the comment section once you guys if you're still watching put universe in the comment section because it's amazing how if you just kind of put out you get back what you put out right so i put out into the world the universe that i wanted to get more parking lot striping jobs and through a weird chain of events, I ended up getting them. So hey, if you guys wanna watch more of my videos, click one of these right now. Otherwise, anything's possible, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.